Renting out your primary residence can be pretty lucrative, but the pandemic has changed a lot of people's living situations. So we're asking, is it smart to join in on the short term rental game now or wait? Denver 7 consumer reporter Eric Lufer looks into it. Last year was a really traumatic year for a lot of people that are doing short term rentals. And it makes sense. No one could or even wanted to travel at the height of the pandemic last summer. We saw a dramatic decrease in active short term rental licenses. That makes sense too. Who wants to start renting out their home if they don't have any customers? But after the dust settled, I'd say they found some silver lining. Dana Lubner with the group Mile High Host says things are looking up and then some. People are traveling again, but still wanting to keep their distance. Short term rentals are becoming quite the lodging preference for travelers. Lubner says right now, short term rental occupancy in Denver is at 88%. It was even harder to find a Verbo or Airbnb in the city over the summer, which means business has already rebounded nicely. And that means there's going to be a, a really big opportunity for places that are able to provide that supply to travelers. That's where Eric Escudero with the Denver Department of Excise and Licenses comes in. He says people getting a license to make their home a short term rental is improving up about 9% after the initial pandemic drop. Now it's not a dramatic increase, but when you think about how the pandemic has negatively impacted the tourism industry, it's really encouraging to see more people are traveling and booking making the short term rental business one that could help bring in some nice extra income even as the pandemic lingers on. Now they don't want to book anything else other than that type of accommodation. I'm Eric Lufer, Denver 7. So after hearing that, are you convinced to start renting out your home? Something to remember, the rules are the home has to be your primary residence that you return to often. That's the safeguard put in place to make sure the already tight inventory for homes isn't gobbled up by short term rentals.